We've got all the uh, wiring, I think, done and plumbing done. And I just put a coat of uh, urethane on the cabinets here. So uh, dried enough to a point where I think we can actually test some water out here. So I have the electrical all ran. A uh, nice little nest of wires over there. Uh, what I did with the refrigerator is I have this uh, uh, expandable cord here, and it's uh, anchored here, anchored here, and then also anchored back at the uh, wall there that going into the box, um, so it can slide out and slide back without any uh, impedance with the wire. So that works. Um, got the drain all mounted and wired in um, the drain valve so it right there solenoid valve hooked up to the drain over here um, so in here we have this is the drain I put it on a, a lockable um, button so if you hear here you have to pull this down and then push up but you can hear that solenoid activate um, so hopefully that functions. Um, we have a uh, two-wire connection here for the um, spotlight for hunting. Um, I have under here a secret um, light, and that just goes to this switch. I had already wired in um, the bottom. Uh, yeah, these rock lights um, down here. I have both white and red, so the red lights. All right there, and light up. And then exterior lights are the white, and they go around. I have one, one, so two on either side, one on the back, one on the front, and then again, two on the other side as well. And then those um, are wired in, so I have to have those lights on in order to run this light. Um, I only did that because I had already wired it in and I was running low, running out of uh, connection points to my block. So that's that. Um, back here, we also have another light and it's going to be set up. Um, I have these light right here um, that will run it. It'll be mounted on this plate here um, onto the top. I have just enough room between the fridge here and the stove where it's gonna to set to mount it on the actual um, top assembly here. So we'll set there to where I can activate the water pump is the other switch. Um, so from back here, you know, what as needed, we can flip the water pump on, do dishes, whatever we need for the water, shower, whatever, turn it back off so we don't have to run all the way around back and forth. So, um, that's the switches, that's the power, the uh, plumbing, have it all hooked up over here. Um, went through and did some putty on the, uh, some wood putty on, on the surround here because I didn't router it well enough. Uh, it turned out all right, it's not the greatest looking, but it's also a camp turtle, so I'm fine with it. Um, underneath, we're gonna test here the connections uh, to the faucets. We have the hot going in and then the cold going over to uh, our main water source. This water line goes to our hot water source, um, feeds the faucet, and then also feeds the shower over here. Shower I have hooked up. Um, so this is our isolation for the shower itself. Um, so if we're not using a shower, it just stays in the out position. There'll be a dead leg of water in here, but that's how we're doing it. Um, that way, when we are showering, we can easily turn it on and off as needed. Um, and we have it hooked up. I got epoxied um, some magnets here to the back. And that just slides up and gives you, I mean, height-wise, it's probably perfect for me. I'm not sure yet what the pressure is going to be like with this thing coming out. But um, uh, Nicole may have to thin the, the uh, water down to make it uh, hit her right. But... That's what we have. Everything's as quick connected as I could be. Um, and we'll see how it all works and functions right now. So now I have the water here ready to go. Um, I'm going to turn it on and uh, fill this thing up and see, see if my water gauge works and if everything inside there um, stays 
tight. So the real crush, real test is going to be when I hit that water pump and see the pressure rise. But um, let's get started and see how it goes. I hear water going in the tank. We have three eighths of a tank, I guess is what you'd say there, which um, I don't know, looks a little more like half to me. Maybe it's three eighths, but um, enough to do the test. So we're going to now kick the pump on, um, yeah, and see. Hopefully, it'll prime itself. I'm, I didn't even think about that, but um, yep, here we go. Quick test first on the solenoid, see if that works. Beautiful. Now it should stop. <laughs> Precharge the um, accumulator to it says three psi below the cut-in pressure. Looks like the pump has a 55 psi um, shut off. So if I understand that correctly, that would be a 52 psi setting on the pressure accumulator. I think. Anyway, that's where it's at right now. So we're gonna kick the switch on and see what happens. Oh yeah, it's back here. Okay. Okay. So we should have water in the system now at 55 pounds. And water over here up to the nozzle. I do not have anything yet ran to the faucets. We'll do that one at a time. So let's see, and of course, already there's a leak on the actual unit, so that's cool. Uh, not even my connection. <laughs> but I guess it's better than my connection. You don't see any leaks over there, or inside? All right, so we'll turn on the cold water line now and see if we can get this thing all right so now we have cold water running to the faucet and i don't see any leaks under here the only one being the damn drain cold water seems to be working We'll turn the hot water on. It's filling the... Oh, it's on. No, I don't. It's the... All right, so the connection, the cheap-ass connection, is failing. That sounds about right. That's about what I thought be that the uh, <laughs> the shower nozzle this is like all plastic all these fittings are plastic so I'm thinking after all that magnet crap I'm probably gonna have to upgrade to a better shower faucet here I don't think there's a way to tighten that more than I have already I don't know, maybe there is so we have figured out a couple things um, one, let's see, we have a leaky piece. I'm going to have to take this apart here and, uh, see what the deal is with that. I don't know if it's just the, the pressure on the fact that, you know, there's some weight here of these hoses on this thing. Um, not the end of the world. Um, does kind of suck. We'll just have to deal with that possibly. Um, not the, not the end of the world. Good thing is um, all of my connections uh, work are, and are watertight. The one crap connection is the uh, hose. I just stuck this on there because uh, 
to avoid spraying while I was testing. Um, but the actual hose piece is garbage, and it's just a cheap shower that came with uh, the the kit. So I'll probably just have to get a new hose. Um, not a huge deal there. Um, and then the water heater works. So um, didn't have batteries in it initially. Um, once I put batteries in it, it kicks on as intended. You turn it on, and uh, it does need a minimum flow. So uh, I don't know what it's what it is, um, but you can't just have it on a trickle. It won't turn the um, heater on. So you have to actually kick it on a pretty decent amount, uh, which we'll just have to be aware of. Um, fortunately, you can see right here, right when it kicks on, you can look through the, um, the vent here and see that it's kicking on. You can actually hear it click, click, click. So you can figure out how much you need and kick it on there accordingly. Uh, it shouldn't be an issue when you're showering because you're going to have uh, um, a lot of water usage there. But everything works. Um, no leaks inside. The one thing I wasn't happy about was that solenoid valve. Um, but it seems like it did eventually stop it just takes forever which i guess isn't a big deal uh, unless you accidentally hit it but if you're trying to drain it uh shouldn't be a big deal to have it drip for a while it doesn't drain everything fully um just with the design of the tank which i knew but you can see that the actual um uh, hose outlet drain is not exactly at the bottom of the tank so you get uh, an inch of water or so left within the tank so we'll just have to be cognizant of that hit it with some bleach um, run it flush it through uh, as we as we go the half inch water line will pull out more water so we may drain as much as we can with the um, valve and then push out the rest with the pump um, as we as we need to so all in all though pretty pretty good test i'm happy with the uh, results and happy to finally get this thing now buttoned up now i can take all this out i just want to test everything now that i had it coated close it up and then put a coat of black um, raptor liner on the trim pieces i got them taped off here um, so we'll paint that paint the inside here and then we can get the uh, top of the lid on and uh be done with this thing and then all that's left is paint welding out that one piece and paint so let's go